Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. If you're new to the channel, I do uh, mostly DIY videos, and so far it's been primarily Harry Potter, but as you can see by this video, I'm planning on doing a few different things other than Harry Potter here and there. And I do host giveaways for pretty much every DIY that I do, and th those are weekly giveaways, and I also host giveaways uh, for different milestones for my channel. For example, right now, I'm doing a giveaway. As soon as my channel hits 7K subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a Marauder's Map with hidden footprints and a reverse cover, and I'm also going to be giving away a 20-page quibbler that is fully readable. If you're interested in entering any of my giveaways, check out the links in the description box. Speaking of giveaways, I have four giveaways to announce at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. And before you say anything, I know Star Wars is not Harry Potter in any sense of the word, but in my defense, Jedi are kind of like space wizards. Speaking of Jedi, I would love to spend this entire video letting you guys know what I thought of the new Star Wars movie, uh, The Last Jedi. But we have a DIY to make, so maybe I'll do that in another video if anybody cares. If you do, let me know in the comment section below and maybe I'll make a video on that. In a nutshell, I found it kind of disappointing, but there were parts that I did like, and I really liked the sacred Jedi texts. I love the way they looked, and as soon as I saw them, I knew I wanted to do a DIY of that. So here it is. Go ahead and take a look in the description box for a list of supplies you're gonna need, as well as a link to the free downloads for the templates for these things. Download those and let's get started. So the first thing we wanna do is stain our paper. So I've got a couple pieces of white paper and a cookie sheet or a baking sheet here. And we wanna stain these before we do any type of printing or put any kind of ink on these pages. Because if there's already ink on these pages before we stain them, the ink is going to bleed and it's, it's just gonna fade away. It's not gonna look very good. So first off, we've got some coffee grounds here. So I'm just going to sprinkle some coffee grounds into the baking sheet. And we're gonna put our two pages of paper on top of that. And then I have some uh, coffee that I made. This is oh, completely cooled, so this is not hot coffee. Don't do this with hot coffee. Um, and then we're just gonna pour the coffee over the top of the pages like this. Just go ahead and use a brush and make sure that you get the entire page covered. Um, you can also just kind of pick it up flip it over and just kind of soak it. Make sure you get all of it covered with coffee. So you can use your brush also to kind of paint on uh, coffee wherever there might be uh, dry spots on your paper. And now sprinkle on some more coffee on top. Now we're going to let these pages sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe even a half hour. The longer you let them sit, the more the coffee is going to stain them. So the longer you have them sit, the better they're gonna look pretty much, the darker they're gonna look. So I'm gonna let mine sit probably for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and uh, we'll continue. All right, so this has been sitting for about 20 minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pour the excess coffee back into this glass right here. And then I'm going to take a hair dryer and just kind of dry it a little bit before I try and pick it up. It doesn't have to be completely dry, obviously. Just dry it for about 30 seconds maybe. Okay, so that should be good enough. You should be able to pick these up without worrying about them uh, tearing. Just kind of grab a hold of a corner like this and then just peel it up very carefully when we take them out. But first, we need to lay down a few paper towels to soak up some of the liquid. So now that those are laid down, I can take a sheet of paper and lay it down like that. Now we can really get into the drying phase. This is the first drying phase. We're going to be staining them a second time to give them a more, uh, like an older look. But go ahead and set your hair dryer on low and just dry these off, um, maybe about 50%. They don't have to be totally dry, but just dry enough so that they're not gonna tear when you handle them. Now I'm gonna wanna flip these over and dry them more on the other side, but I want to catch the coffee grounds in my baking tray. Um, so go ahead and dry this side off a little bit. All right, so that should be good. And oh, it looks like I did tear the corner of this one a little bit, so oops. But that should, be, that should still be okay as long as it doesn't have like a gigantic rip in it. Place these back onto uh, 
your baking sheet. At this point, your pages should be stained um, just so that they look a little bit darker than what they were before. But now we kind of want them to look uh, dirty and old. And in order to do that, we'll just sprinkle some more uh, raw coffee grounds on here. And then we're just going to kind of splatter coffee all over them. And now we just need to let this sit again for another 20 minutes or so. I'm probably gonna let mine set for a half hour because at this point, the longer they set, the more like detail there's going to be in these stains. And you'll see what I'm talking about um, when we come back in about 25, 30 minutes. All right, so it's actually been about a few hours. Um, I meant to get it to it within a half hour and then I had to leave. So these have been sitting here for a couple of hours. I just put another little bit of uh, coffee on them so that I can show you what to do because <laughs> they were completely dry but yours will be wet so this is what it'll look like you're just going to want to uh, again set your uh, hair dryer on low and then dry these off just a little bit so that we can transfer them to uh, the paper towels once you have them on the paper towels go ahead and dry them off again on this side until it's pretty dry brush off those uh, coffee grounds. Okay, so these are completely dry now. And now you should have a couple of pages that look something like this. As you can see here, I've done six pages to print uh, one of each page from the Sacred Jedi texts. Now you could just do three pages and print them all double-sided, but I'm gonna print mine single-sided, so I went ahead and did six pages. You want to be careful when you put these into your printer. Make sure that you flatten them out as much as you can and uh, just watch the printer because it's possible that these could kind of jam up in there. If you have a page that has a rip on it, uh, like this corner does, you want to not feed this end into your printer. Feed the other end into your printer because the rip could cause the printer to jam. So now I have all of these printed out. Um, as you can see, the printer did snag one of them and ripped a piece off. Other than that, it went okay. I found that the ones that had the most trouble going through the printer are the two that soaked for a couple of hours rather than 20 to 30 minutes. And now we're just going to rip the edges off and you're gonna do this all the way around the paper, like the entire border. So your edge should look like this rather than being completely straight. And when we're all finished, our pages should look like this. If you'd like a chance at winning the Jedi text that I made in this video today, follow the link in the description box to the giveaway. And now to announce the four winners of my previous giveaways. Number one, the Peppermint Toad Box. This is a completely custom box that I made for the holiday. And the winner is Louis Resendez. And the winner to the Sorting Hat giveaway is Mackenzie Murray. Up next, we have one winner out of three for the Quidditch program plus tickets plus posters. And the winner is Marco Fernando. And last but not least, we have the 5K Marauder's Map giveaway winner. Congratulations, Marissa Volkening. And congratulations to everybody else who won something in this video. And if you're interested in keeping up with uh, all the different projects that I'm working on, the links to my social media accounts are in the description box below. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.